हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन फार्मा टॉक्स एंड द टुडेज टॉपिक इज एनालिटिकल मेथड वैलिडेशन पार्ट सेकंड इन टूडेज टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मेथड एनालिटिकल मेथड वैलिडेशन पैरामीटर स्पेसिसिटी हेयर वी कैन डिस्कस हाउ डू यू परफॉर्म स्पेसिसिटी ड्यूरिंग एनालिटिकल मेथड वैलिडेशन यूजिंग एच सो नाउ लेट गेट स्टार्टेड so uh, when you discuss about the what is specificity the first question arises in our mind how do you perform specificity during the analytical method validation using hplc let us check out specificity is brief what is specificity why it is performed during the validation so what is specificity specificity is the univocal determination of target analyte in the presence of component that may be expected to be present what may be expected to represent that is the impurity degradants and matrix okay friends specificity is the ability of a method to discriminate between the critical analytes and the other interfering component in the sample third one the specificity of the hplc method is demonstrated by the physical separation of the api from other components such as process impurities degradant and excipient a typical specificity validation study demonstrate that contaminants or reagent cause no interference this is done by running a procedural blank or placebo extract from a drug product method what is a placebo a placebo is a mock drug product that contains similar amount of excipient in the formulation without the api so you understand what is a placebo placebo is a mock drug product that contains similar amount of excipient in the formulation without the api how do you perform the specificity the procedure is that a mixture of api spiked with impurities or degradant product can be used as a specificity mixture okay now furthermore specificity is assessed by a peak purity determination using a photo diode detector pda detector so if you perform the specificity in ident- identification method or quantitative analysis so specificity is demonstrated demonstrated by the ability to discriminate between the compound or closely related structure or by comparison to known reference material as say in assay we perform the specificity in this manner specificity is demonstrated using spike sample to show that the method result are unaffected by the presence of impurities or excipients in impurity test how do you perform the specificity the procedure is that when impurities are available specificity is demonstrated by spiking the drug substance or the drug product with the appropriate level of impurities and determining them with appropriate accuracy and precision when no impurities are available so what you have to do compare result to the second well characterized procedure include sample stored under relevant strict condition for example under light heat humidity acid base hydrolysis or oxidation so what does it means it means that when you have no impurities available available then what you have to do you perform the force degradation study to so the specificity that is the no degradant product or the impurities are arises in the rt of the main peak in sample or there is no interference at the rt of the main peak what is the acceptance criteria blank diluent and placebo should not show any interference to analyte phase okay so it is should be remember blank diluent and placebo should not show any interference to analyte peak there is no interference at the rt of the main peak in the blank or diluent or the placebo run impurity peak should be well separated from each other the second acceptance criteria is the impurity peak should be well separated from each other blank diluent placebo peak should be separated from impurities peak okay analyte peak should be spectrally pure in standard peak identification solution sample solution and the spike sample solution so how we perform how do measure the peak purity so in empower i just give the some detail about the peak purity what is the peak purity in my next video 
so in m power software for a peak to be pure the purity angle should be less than the purity threshold if the purity angle should be less than the if the purity angle is less than the purity threshold it means that your peak is pure your peak is homogenized so it is what the specificity means in the method validation okay so please comment or like and subscribe my channel and also comment what challenges you face while performing the specificity if you like the video and want more video on the on some analytical method parameter like linearity range lod loq precision is so please give me a comment to uh, that motivate me to make the more videos like this thank you thank you very much